Hello, my name is Cercilla Cruz and I'm a children's book illustrator. These are some of my books and this video is brought to you by the Mead County Council Libraries. Today we're doing a roll of dice monster fun workshop. Have you ever played the roll of dice drawing game before? So get ready, this is lots and lots of fun. All you're going to need is some paper, a pencil or pen, maybe other materials if you have them home, and the dice. So pause the video, go get your materials, and when you're ready, you press play again. To begin, we're going to make a template that's going to help us decide on what our monsters are going to look like. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to draw a straight line around here on your page. Now you can use a ruler for this, I'm not going to use it, and you don't have to, it's not necessary. And on this side, we're going to draw the numbers, write the numbers down, one to six, and leave some space between them, so like so. One, two, three, four, five, and six. In between the numbers, we're going to draw lines from here all the way to the other end of the page. And you can go as far as you want. One, two, they don't have to be perfect. Three, four, five lines. And here, we're going to draw another line. And now, we're going to draw vertical lines again going all the way through, but we're gonna leave some space in between them. So say maybe about three fingers. If your hands are small, maybe four. Okay, I'm gonna stop here at four rolls. On top of each of those, we're going to decide what our monsters are gonna look like. This is going to be for the head. This is going to be for the eyes. These are going to be for the bodies. And this is going to be for extra things. For the head, let's think, what kind of head can we make for a monster? Maybe you can start with a triangle and really big ears. You can make a blob-shaped head with perhaps some dots. Or you can make a crocodile-like head with some fierce teeth. Or you can make a skeleton head You can make a circle head with pointy ears or maybe an alien like upside down triangle and maybe an antenna on the top. Now for the eyes, we can draw angry eyes and angry eyes, they point down to the nose like so. Or maybe sad eyes, which point up to the forehead, like a curve. Or maybe you can have tired eyes. Spinning eyes. You can have sunglasses or maybe you can have gigantic eyes you can even add some details there
Now for the body, we can be really creative. We can make maybe a cat body. Maybe a dinosaur body. So tiny arms, big legs, tail. And if I'm moving too fast here, remember that you can pause this video and take your time to create whatever comes in your imagination. We can have an octopus body. So maybe the eight legs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't put the head because it doesn't have a head. Um, maybe a skeleton body. And I like make skeleton bodies. So a couple of ribs on this side, a couple of arms, hands. Skeleton body, square shaped body, maybe like a robot, we'll add some buttons and other things. And what about a broom body? Why not? A broom, just a regular broom. Okay. And now for the extra bits, we can add anything we want. A top hat. A sword. cup of tea, the teddy, roller skates, piece of cake. Mm. Okay, now I'm sure these monsters we create are going to be super funny. Now you can create other categories and have extra things added like maybe specific noses or maybe clothes they're wearing or maybe how many legs they have. It all depends on what you want for your character. Now this is our template and this is what we're going to use to create our drawing. And the way we're gonna do it is with your dice, you're going to roll and you're going to find out which one of these you're gonna get. So on your first roll of the dice, we're going to discover which head we're going to use. Then on our second roll, we're going to discover which kind of eyes we're going to use. On our third roll of the dice, we're going to discover what body we're going to use. And on our fourth roll of the dice, we're going to discover what kind of extra things our monster is going to have. Maybe you don't have a dice at home and maybe a smaller one than I do. You can also use a piece of paper like this with the numbers written one to six. It works just like the dice and you can cut them out like so. You can put them in a little bowl and if you can't roll the dice, you just close your eyes. You can pick a number and that way the number is going to show you which one you're going to use. So say if your first roll you took the number two, that's the head, the blobby head we're going to use. So let's set this up now in a way that we can draw our character. We need a new sheet of paper. Let's turn this one around because there were little bits from that one. 
And we're going to use our template, I'm going to fold this, to guide us. First roll of the dice, we have number two, and that's the head. So blobbly head, uh, we're gonna go. It doesn't have to be exactly like that one, just similar. Okay. Second roll of the dice. Two, again, is number two for the second row, is sad eyes. Okay, now we need a body. Ooh, number three, that is the octopus body. So, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. And now for the fourth roll of the dice, let's find out what's extra about our monster. Number one, and that is a top hat. Okay. I'm gonna make a tiny top hat on him right here <laughs> okay maybe your monster like mine is missing a few features so I'm going to give it a smile um, with a couple of teeth missing I know that's not where actual octopuses have their mouths but this is a monster so you can do whatever you want and since it's wearing a top hat, maybe I'll give it a bow tie as well, with two triangles there. And now, since you have your monster ready, you can use different materials you have at home, maybe markers, maybe colored pencils, and you can add your own flavor to it. So you can use like different textures or different colors. So I'm going to color this. I like giving my characters rosy cheeks, so I'm going to add a couple of rosy cheeks on this guy. And then I'm going to use a different color, like green, to finish this up. Add a few textures on top. You can mix the materials. The more things you add, the more interesting it gets, especially for monsters, there is no limit. And even for this guy, even though he looks like he's from under the sea, you can add some hair on him. You can do a little bit of sprinkles so it looks like he has hair. Maybe we'll do some hair under the armpits.
you can add lipstick, you can do whatever you want, it's your monster. So I really like this guy. Uh, let's try a different monster this time around. I'm going to use the papers in case you don't have dice. Okay, so for the head, it's number two. We're getting the same head now, I'm gonna try something else. Let's try a different one. Okay, number four for the head. Okay, we have the skeleton head. So it's shape, some teeth, and the nose. Okay. Okay. Now for the eyes. Put the paper back. I'm not looking. Ah, number two. <laughs> I think I'm getting lots of twos today. Uh, let's get a different one because we already had the set eyes. Okay. Okay. Number one, angry eyes. So down towards the nose, angry eyes. That looks like a mean, mean skeleton. Okay. Now for the body. Number six, broom. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. Okay, so here we have a broom. Okay, and what's going to be extra about our character? Let's find out. And I'm gonna get number one. Again, oh, come on. Let's try a different one. Number six, a piece of cake. Hmm, now that's gonna be interesting. So maybe because we're going to draw the piece of cake, it needs to have some arms. So I'm gonna give it a little uh, dustpan arm, since he has a, a broom body. And on his dustpan arm, I'm going to put the plate with the cake on top. So we have the dustpan arm, and maybe on this side I'm gonna give him a mop arm. Which is kind of like a leg too. Splashes of water coming down. I bet he's angry because he's doing all the chores in the house. It really depends on what you want to create with your monster. And I think we can maybe add something else. Maybe it's cooking as well. So I'll give it a, a whisk here. And maybe a spoon. It's just angry, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna color this in. And again, like I said, you guys can use whatever you want to color. So I'm going to go for a blue dustpan with a marker. Ooh, I'm gonna go for vanilla cake with sprinkles, so there will be sprinkles in the dough. Have you ever had those? Oh, they're super cool, okay. So colored sprinkles in the vanilla dough, but I'm going to make the, um, let me find a nice brown, okay. I'm going to make the icing and the filling be chocolate. Now my skeleton, he's going to have an orange face. Not all skeletons are white. This one is orange. Or maybe you can even do like a patch on his face. So he has a patch that's orange and maybe a different color, like the red on the rest of the face. Oh, that looks like a mustache. I think I'm gonna keep that as a mustache. And I'm going to add even a different color. I'm gonna go for a yellow. I 
I think I want to give him some ears as well. I'm going to give him some pointy ears. And I'm going to color them, this one yellow and the other one orange. color the broom orange maybe I'll do a few bits orange a few bits yellow I really like the yellow and the orange together I'm gonna use the same blue marker. I'm gonna do the mop. I'll get the yellow for the whisk. And I'll do the red for the spoon. And for the head of the mop, I'm going to get a gray. Do you usually get grays in your color pencils? Don't really know what to do with them. You just add some not precisely just a little bit around the mop and we use the blue for the the water that's splashing perfect i wonder what this guy name would be i'm sure you can help me out leave a comment or send me whatever name you think this guy might have or this guy as well and the cool thing about um, this particular game is you can actually make whatever theme you want. You just need the pencil to draw your template, your directions, and you can maybe make dinosaurs. So maybe heads, eyes, body, tails of a dinosaur, maybe wild animals. You can do dolphins with birds and create different creatures, or you can and draw faces or people or maybe even your school friends maybe you can have the different heads of your friends different eyes you can put sunglasses on them or maybe different clothes it's all up to your imagination so i hope you had fun i sure did and i look forward to seeing your creations and the names you come up for these guys i'll see you soon bye